Okay, in this video what I'd like to do is talk to you about how you use a scale to parameter instruction. Now there's nothing too complicated about this, but this is a really good introduction into AOI type instructions because it's pretty pretty simplistic. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take uh, my computer offline here and I'm just going to come in and do a very simple example. I'm going to add a new rung and I'm basically just for it to start off with just going to use the scale to parameter instruction here. So I lock this down right here and I'm just going to walk you through how you program it. Now this, what this does is this takes an analog signal and converts it to some usable scaled parameter. Okay, and so the first thing we have to do is just create a tag for this. So I'll call this scale, scale instruction. Okay, and then we have to have an input. Now the input that we're going to use is an analog input that is tied to my uh, uh, slot six channel zero, and I'll show you that when we get online, and you can see how that's moving. We're using a 4 to 20 milliamp signal here. So I'll select new tab and this is going to be an analog in. I'm going to change this to an alias. Scroll this down. Grab the input and this is going to be my uh, channel zero data. I don't want to go here and go to the bit level since it's an analog signal. I want to stay at the uh, at the data level here, so you're at the int level, okay, it's because of how many bits it's able to give you. So we'll come here, we'll hit create, and that will come in. Now when we go online, there will be a value there, all right? So now for this instruction, what we need to do is we need to say, what are my minimums and what are my maximums, okay? And this depends on how you're setting up your analog, what type of analog signal it is. We're just using a very simple 4 to 20 milliamp generator we're not using um, you know, some type of analog proximity sensor or uh, ultrasonic sensor or weight sensor. So I'm just going to basically create a couple values here. And I'm going to say between uh, uh, 7,500 and 14,000. These are going to be our minimum and maximum scales. So let's just say that, um, let's say we're measuring the height of a tank, right? And we want to be able to, we want to we know um, how high the tank is filling. Now, 75 is the minimum for that tank. And uh, 7,500 is when the tank is empty. And 14 is when that tank is full. So if we want to break that into a percentage, we could say, okay, 7,500 and 14,000. And then for my scale, I can add a zero and a 100, okay? now. I'm doing this in a simple way and we'll make it a little more complex and flexible here in a second. Then we need to create an output. All right. And I will just name this scale output. Okay. Percentage. All right. So this will give me a percentage that it's coming out as. Now notice that this is a decimal. And the reason that is, is because uh, it is a real. All right. And a real is what the float used to be. The real um, engages so you can have it at a decimal point. All right, so we'll leave it as that. It'll give us a little bit more uh, precision. All right, now you'll notice that I just put these values in here. And if I were to download this, this would 100% work. And I'll show you uh, the good and the bad about this. So we'll go ahead and download this. All right, so you'll notice that my analog input is at about 11,000. All right. And that puts us at about 54% full, all right? Now, this analog signal is coming from this analog channel right here, channel zero on slot six. So if I, when I adjust that, and I will here in a minute, you'll see how that changes. So now the analog signal is being adjusted lower, okay? And we're getting closer and closer to zero. So you can see here that let's just say um, there's a little bit of uh, residual liquid in the uh, tank that we're filling up. And so we're right at around 1.5%, okay? And now as it goes up, you'll see this percentage get larger and larger, okay? Now, analog signals, they can tend to bounce a little bit. So if you ever see a negative there, that's okay. It's typically just a little bit of air within the uh, signal that's coming into the PLC. So you can see we're at 75%, we're getting bolder and bolder. So you can see here now we're pretty close to 14,000 and we're at 99%. 
and that's at 8.94 uh, milliamps, okay? And so now if we were to drain the tank, it would go down. And so now it's going down, and you can see it's getting closer and closer to that zero level. And now we're at 4.83 milliamps coming in here, giving you this variable right here. Now, you'll notice that I just put raw numbers in here and it worked fine. But if I wanted to have a little more flexibility with this, which most of the time you do, you would want to um, add in, you would want to give this, uh, you'd want to give the minimum and the maximum here, the scale, actual uh, locations in memory. So we want to create tag for this. Okay, so I'll say, uh, I'll call this, and this is going to be a tag and hit create in here. New tag. I'm going to call this analog input max. And I'll follow the same pattern here. Now, the advantage of this, and this is most often done out in the field is that we can now adjust these in different ways. So I can adjust this while I'm online. That 7,500 and that 14,000 that I put in there, I could not adjust that when I was online, but I can do it if it has a place in memory. So now these values can be adjusted. So let's say we can actually adjust the minimum maximum. Let's say the sensor is getting a little old and now it's actually for uh, 15,000. I can come in here and adjust that and I can set scales on there using the uh, HMI and all sorts of very cool things. So my scale minimum here is going to be zero still. I'll put, I'll drop 100 in here and I'm ready to go. Now, the next thing we want to be able to do is what do we do with this? So right now we're not doing anything with it. It's just converting this to a percentage. So let's say I was going to tie this to an HMI or uh, something like that and I was going to use it for graphics to show something great. But if I wanted to control something with it, Okay, I might want to throw in a compare instruction, do a greater than or equal to. All right, so let's just say uh, I'll use my uh, scale output percentage. All right, and then uh, I, let's say at 75%, I want a warning light to come on. Okay, and so I could easily throw that on, or I could create a bit. I'll just I'll just create a, a, a quick tag here um, above. 75 and this will go on when we get to that point okay so when we're above 75 this would go true okay and notice we don't have any inputs in front of here sometimes they will have inputs in front of them most of the time they won't so i'll go ahead and download this and we'll give it a quick try and you can kind of this is just an introduction to how an uh, aoi works all right so we're at about one percent and we're going to start cranking it up and then once we get to 75, you will see this bit go true because the greater than or equal to is equal and above 75. All right, and we'll be there in one quick second. Now, this is above that 75% threshold. And what I can do is I could even come down here if I needed to in a pinch to override something because this is a memory location, I could type this in at uh, 12,000 and look how that changes my percentage here. Okay, this offers a lot of flexibility in here when you use tags here instead of just inputting numbers. Okay, so this is a quick introduction to how an AOI works and we use the uh, scale to parameters. If you want to know what the math behind these are, no matter how complex they are, this is where you go to look for those. You go to the, where the scale parameters are and you can click in the logic and it will bring you to essentially the subroutine that holds it. Okay, and so this is the formula that they use here. Sometimes these can be extremely long. So just be aware of that if you want to try to dive in and know what those outputs associated with a AOI, um, how they work and where they're at and what specifically they're doing. You can dive in a little bit more uh, deeply there. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. And this was just a quick introduction to AOIs using the scale with parameters. Thanks for watching.